Number 33 on chapter five, section one, the antiderivative. So we're gonna rewrite this as x to the negative four. And we're gonna write this as x to the negative two. And we're gonna apply our rule. Our rule says we add one to that power. And so that's gonna become a negative three, but we divide by that negative three. And this is gonna be two x because the derivative of two x is two. And then we're gonna add one to that power. It's gonna be negative one. Ooh, that's bad. I don't know what happened there. Minus three, add one to this, I get negative one. But then I divide by that negative one and I get a plus C. And what's that integral sign doing there? I don't, don't do that. Some of you are gonna do that, don't do that. We found, no, I am totally messing up, aren't I? I haven't found, I just rewrote it, wow. Loser, loser, Yoshida is a loser. Okay, now we've, no wait, we did find the antiderivative. What am I doing? I do need the plus Z. Okay, that's the answer, but we can simplify. Um, these cancel leaving a negative one. So it's gonna be negative one X to negative three plus two X. And these make a plus three X to negative one plus C. And if you want, you can move the negative exponents to the bottom because it's prettier. And there's my answer. Wow, I must be tired.